As a system administrator, you may want to disable access to Windows Registry Editor for your users. In this client machine, if I go to the Start menu and type Reg Edit, I can open the Registry Editor without any administrative privileges. I can navigate in the Registry Editor and I can update anything I like such as this key or I can delete these keys from this machine. This is not a good thing to have when you have hundreds of users accessing your network. You can prevent users from accessing Registry Editor using a simple group policy object. What you need to do is to go to your Windows Server. I'm using Windows Server 2022, but this is applicable for the previous versions of Windows Server. Go to your Server Manager, go to the Tools menu, and open your Group Policy Management Console. And in here, as long as the client is domain connected to this network, the client will be part of one of these group policies that we have previously created. I'm going to create a brand new policy and I'm gonna apply it under the NetIT Geeks object. However, remember you can apply this group policy to anywhere you like in your organizational structure. If I apply the group policy here, it will be applicable for anything underneath the NetIT Geek, for example, accounting, client computers, etc., etc. To create a new group policy, I'm gonna right click and select create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And I'm gonna give it a meaningful name. So for here, I'm gonna call it the uh, registry key uh, no, Registry uh, Editor. Prevent Registry Editor. Click OK. You can name it anything you like. Uh, I just call it uh, Prevent Registry Editor. And in here, what I can do, I can select it and you can see it is applied to sanuja.local slash netitgeeks and anything underneath it will get this thing inherited by this group policy, um, you know, that we are applying right here. I'm gonna right click on that and select edit and that will open the group policy management editor console. And in here, I'm going to navigate to the user configuration section and we will expand the policies, administrative templates and systems. And if you select the system on the right hand side, you will have a set option called prevent access to registry editing tools right here, prevent access to registry editing tools. So it is under user configuration, administrative templates, system, and you select the system and underneath that system section, you have prevent access to registry editing tools. If you double click on it, it will open that window and currently it is not configured. What you need to do is enable it. And when you enable it, there are two options uh, you can select. Uh, disable registry edit from running silently or the, you can do it without doing it silently. So I'm gonna show you the difference between the two. So if you select the default one, which is silently, what that will do is every single time some user who is not an administrator try to launch the registry editor, it will not even show up on the start menu. So let's go with the silently first and I'm gonna apply and click OK. So now this group policy is applied way up here under the NetIT Geeks group and then underneath it, anything underneath it, that object is applied to all the users underneath it. So if I go back to my Windows 11 machine and if I go in here, 
If I type reg edit, can I open it? Yeah, I still can open it. So how come that's possible, right? That because of I need to do a, a group policy uh, update, right? So right now, if I try to run CMD, it won't let me because it is disabled by the administrator. Why is this? Because in my previous tutorial, I have disable access to the uh, prevent access to the command prompt right here. So I have done that right here. So I have disable access to the command prompt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable this uh, group policy from my other previous tutorial. So I will have access to the command prompt. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select link enable, but I'm going to deselect link enable. What that will do, it, it will disable this group policy right here. And right now see how it's grayed out. So it's disabled. Again, this is not something that you need to worry about if you haven't followed through my previous tutorials. So I'm simply disabling prevent access to command prompt uh, group policy. And then if I go back to my uh, client machine and if I log out uh, and log back in, I should be able to launch command prompt. So I already log out and log back in. So if I go start menu and if I say CMD, there you go, now it's open. So now if I type gp uh, update slash force, press enter, take a little bit and it will be updating the group policy and I got the message saying the group policy update has been completed, you know, successfully. So now if I go to the start menu and if I type reg edit and if I try to open it, It'll give me a message saying register data has been disabled by your administrator. So it basically saying disabled by administrator. So if I go reg edit and if I select run as an administrator, it'll give me the UAC window that allow me to, uh, you know, uh, allow me to uh, enter my administrative privileges. So it still gives the access to administrator. So if I go administrator, and then I can enter my administrator password. I would still be able to launch group policy editor. But if a user did this, it just give the warning saying it is disabled by the administrator. And that's everything for today. If you have any questions or concerns regarding anything I have covered, please feel free to reach out to me. Please make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thank you so much and have a nice day.